Hi friends, I welcome you all for a MySQL I PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be discussing about the differences or what changes we will have to do to convert our existing project or a website from MySQL to a MySQL I connection. First of all, we will discuss the library function that is a ph uh, in a PHP MySQL I MySQL I underscore connect for that. We will first check the all method that is a mysql underscore connect. In this function, you will have to pass three arguments. The first will be the our mysql r mysql server name. The second argument is the username of a mysql. The third argument that we have to pass is the use password of that user. Uh, currently. For my configuration, as per my configuration, my username is root and my password is empty, that is a blank. That's why I have put it simply a double quote and double quote. And with the help of OR and die function, we can display a proper connection error message that is a connection error. And with that, help of library function mysql underscore error. With the help of mysql underscore error, the last statement. That uh, whatsoever have we did in a MySQL or our last task that uh, whatsoever we have done in a MySQL and uh, if that portion is not successfully executed, we will display an error with a MySQL underscore error function. This is the all method that generally uh, everyone are using right now. But in a MySQL, we will have to do a minor changes. So I am noting down some changes. So firstly, we will be creating a variable that is a connection server variable, and we will have to use not a MySQL function, but we will be using MySQL underscore connect function. One more thing I have forgotten to tell you that after connection for an each and every project or a website, generally we are writing MySQL underscore DB select underscore DB for selecting a default database for our project then after again we are writing a die function database well and again our any error if there this is the exact method for connection and selecting the database now continuing with my sql i library function in this the same syntax will be following the first argument will be the mysql hostname that is our localhost or a server name that is our localhost then second argument will be the mysql username third argument will be again the same the username password and the fourth argument here we will be passing that a default database name that we have selected in a previous method with the help of mysql underscore select underscore db but in mysql i functions with the connection name we have to pass the default database name that one change will be there and another change is that we are select not writing mysql but we are writing mysql i this method is currently a pop method not the object oriented programming method the procedure oriented programming method i am right now doing then we are writing or then die then continue same code no change will be there double code has been complete and not mysql underscore error but we will be writing mysql underscore mysql i underscore error every function of mysql will be converted as a mysql under sorry mysql i not only with a mysql i am repeating thing every function of a mysql are converted as a mysql i for example mysql i was mysql i underscore connect previously was mysql underscore connect mysql underscore error now is mysql i underscore error mysql i underscore fetch underscore row mysql fetch underscore row just we have to add extra i in each and every library function that will be the procedure here oriented programming method the last method that provided by php is object oriented programming concept that again we are using a one server variable now the variable will be 
act as a object as you are all knowing that uh, OOP will create a object of a given class and class name here is mysql i and class is as a constructor so, so in uh, each and every constructor we generally we have to pass some data so our data will be same first will be the server name second will be the username then password and the default database for our project or our website or die connection underscore error and here we will be writing as an object dollar cr is a object of our class mysql i and in that we will be using it's one of the property or a member or a variable whatsoever you are calling that connect underscore error if connection is not successful then connect underscore error will display appropriate error message to the user so this was the first concept of a mysql underscore connect in this video we will be not discussing anything else thank you if you like video please channel uh, subscribe the channel and share with your yeah.